Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today our group uh, is going to present about case study DFP 40263 Secure Mobile Computing Our lecturer name is Wan Muhammad Zul Hafiri bin Wan Ahmad Our title is Cyber Attack This is our team First me, Ahmad Shafiq Shami bin Ahmad Mazhar As a security architecture Uh, my work is responsible for designing robust security structure that are used to prevent malware attack. The second is Muhammad Hero Adit bin Muazzeh as a cyber security engineer. He work on planning security measure to prevent the organisa organization from a cyber attack. First, uh, introducing. Attack name is cyber attack. Attack type is brute force. Attack takes place in 2022 the mobile device platform affected at uh, app website industry attack target based on the previous attack happen is bank account investment detail and similar data why we choose that the uh, that title because cyber attack very dangerous because it can take private or public data without uh, our knowledge it is also of great concern to us because it can lead to the loss of money or the thief of personal, financial and medical information. How the attack happen? Generally, this attack requires uh, seriousness to be used as an attack because the attack use many methods, try and error. This, in, this is an all attack method but it's still effective and popular which hackers how to know the mobile device affected first device respond slowly second see random pop up ads or new apps and last one is your device feel physically hot why because these symptoms are common for device that are already affected which virus how to prevent this attack from happen or repeat to be happen first account logouts after fail attempts an account loop which a progressive delay loops the account only for a set period of time after a set time the number of unsuccessful login uh, items this means that automatic brute force attacks tool will not be like useful also administer Administrators don't have to deal with unlocking several hundred accounts every 10 minutes or more. Second is make the root uh, user inaccessible via SSH. SSH brute force attacks are often carried out on the root user of a server. Make sure to make the root user inaccessible via SSH by editing the sshd underscore config file. Set the Danny user's roots and permit root login, no option. A third is modify the default port. Most automated uh, SSH attacks are item on the default port 22. So, running SSHD on a different port could prove uh, to be a useful way of dealing with brute force attacks. To switch to a non-standard port, edit the uh, port line in your SSHD hd underscore config file a fault is limit login to a specify ip address or range uh, security parameter around your most valuable data and all non original letters from the correct ip address is not allowed access you can set it up by encapsulating the remote access port to a static ip address if you don't have a static ip address you can configure vpn instant One drawback is that it may not uh, suitable for every use case. That's all from me. I will pass my present by Hairo Adit. Thank you. Okay, thank you Shafiq. Okay, next. CIA try impact from brute force. First is confidentially because hacker can get password bank account and take all the victim's money. Second is availability because the hacker can access the victim's account. Okay, next. 
how you can make money from this attack as a company. Our company can make a profit from helping to to improve security and this in the system so that it is not easily affected by cyber attacks. For example, by cyber security stocks, create training courses for staff. How you can leverage your internal company precaution from this attack with low cost approach. First, use open source software because it doesn't require you to purchase a costly li license. Switching over some of your systems can keep costs down. Example, install a firewall. Second, hire a managed security service provider, MSSP. Setting up and maintaining in-house security management can break your budget. That is why many companies choose to cut costs by enlisting the services of these outside contractors who are in, in charge of mm, monitoring for identifying, mitigating, and remediating security threats of all kinds. How you can leverage your internal company precaution from this attack if money is not an issue for your company? First, ask a cyber security company to make a great security software. Second, deploy and properly configure wireless intrusion detection and prevention systems as well as a mobile data interception system. Conclusion Therefore, cyber security is very important to the operating system for our devices. Then, he can protect important information from hackers or men in the middle. This is our refer if reference. So that's all from our group. Thank you.